Today we're here in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and the colors are the best I have ever seen, bar none. Wow, they're amazing. No matter where you go in the park, you're gonna see color, higher elevations, lower elevations. And I'll tell you what guys, stay tuned because you're gonna see some things that will just totally amaze you. You ready Dawn? Let's do this. I am totally amazed by the sinks. I We were here for like a half hour. I just kept snapping photos and seeing different angles. I can make a video on the sinks alone. But what we're gonna do today is we're going to drive up River Road towards Gatlinburg. If you don't know what River Road is, it's the road that goes from Sugarlands Visitor Center just outside of Gatlinburg all the way uh, pretty much to Cades Cove. Uh, up here a little ways you can get into Townsend. What do you think so far? I'm enjoying it. I love the fall colors. The fall colors, yes. Well folks, stick with us today. Wow, we're in for a ride. Yeah, so we're heading into the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We're going through a back way called Medcalf Bottoms because it was like over an hour wait to get in the park, any other entrance. Yeah, so it's quite busy, even here on the back road. We've got jammed up in a few places. And this road gets real narrow, like one lane up here, and it's always very difficult to, to get in the park, even this way. There really isn't a fast way get in the park this time of year. Yeah, so we got to cross this one lane bridge and uh, it can be difficult because there's mm -hmm. two ways of traffic that wants to cross this bridge, especially this time of year. It looks like we're going to have a clear shot at it. A clear shot at it. And the colors are absolutely amazing. Now we were here yesterday. We didn't film. We just came out for a little us time and the colors were amazing so we come back today to film and we'll be out for 12 hours today doing this And we are here at the sinks, a beautiful little waterfall right off the edge of the road, right off a of river road here in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And it's always amazing waterfall. And it's absolutely amazing in color here in the Great Smoky Mountains. I have never seen color like this ever yes the cold snap recently has really changed these leaves here it's amazing it's here now it falls here and it's popping everywhere <laughs> So we're always asked about handicap places in the national park and this here is accessible for folks that are handicapped. Well, let's get to the trusty old Jeep, which has made this run with us many times before.
You can barely see it, but that's Miggs Falls there. You can see it right from the edge of the road. This time of year, it's hard to see with all the greenery around it. As soon as the leaves come off the trees, it's a beautiful waterfall. Yeah, so we pulled off the side of the road here. There's some beautiful color, especially up there on that ridge. Ah, and it's definitely fall time. You can smell the leaves and, and hear the rushing of the little river here. Check out this little whirlpool in the river here. You can see the water going in on the left and coming out on the right. It's literally carved a hole in that rock. Really nice photo with the reflection of the trees. <laughs> yeah, the sun's starting to set on the one side of the mountain, so it's starting to get a little darker. Not as vibrant as it is or was. Dawn, do you see those beautiful colors? Hey, you can see them reflected, reflecting in the water.
So we're coming up on the Elkmont Campground, and we're gonna head to Elkmont and do a little uh, exploring. I bet you the colors are amazing. And um, I also heard they were amazing, so let's go do this, right? So we're here in Elkmont, and this is the old railroad um, bridge here. As soon as you go in towards the campground, looks like there's some folks up there doing a little fishing. We get this question quite often. How do I get to Elkmont? Well, everybody heads towards the campground, but what you need to do is here at the entrance, you, you need to make a left and go up this hill. We get that like three or four times a week. We were in Elkmont, we couldn't find it. Yeah, and that's what you need to do. Gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> Watch it, oh, there's another one? Yeah. Well, hello, Mr. Turkey. Gobble, gobble. Up the moment, <laughs> oh, 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 another no one. Ah, oh, I almost hit a turkey. How many more is, hey, there? is there any more of you guys down in there? We're here on Little River Trail. We're going to take a little short walk to the Troll Bridge. And just a short little walk. There's a trail on our right. And this will lead the way. Very peaceful out here. This is the first piece we had all day. Of course, it's getting darker, so a lot of folks are heading back into Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge to have supper and, and just enjoy their evening. And uh, we got the, the troll bridge to ourselves. That's one thing we can <laughs> at least claim. Because it was a busy day. There's a lot of traffic, a lot of folks out enjoying uh, the National Park here. Um, traffic can be a big problem this time of year. Uh, and it can get frustrating, like an hour and a half you know, and you only move like a, you know, a mile or two can kind of get to, and you're always wondering what's going on up there. Like, why is it taking so long? Right? So, but I can smell those leaves. It's very nice. The last time we did a video out here, someone asked, why is there a bridge in the middle of the Smoky Mountains? Well, this was the resort area of Elkmont back in the day. Of course, most of the cabins have been torn out, except for the ones up in Daisy Town, which are been all re renovated, and you can check those out. But at one time, that bridge went to a cabin. And here's just one of the old cabins. It used to be a, a bench on each side and every time we come back it gets more and more deteriorated oh wow look at that So that's Jake's Creek Trail up that way. They'll take you to the Mena Evan cabin. And uh, yeah, it's everywhere, guys. But we're here in Daisy Town. And we're just going to walk down the street and back. We've been inside the cabins many a times. Just, uh, just seeing if anything's new. They're almost done with this last cabin here. They're almost done with all of them. I think they're working on this one and then they got that one finished over there. So they have two left out of all of them. Wow, yeah. Elkmont's starting to look good. It is, it is. It's more vibrant again. It is, oh, the trees are, are beautiful. Yes, now this is something, um, uh, no pets inside buildings, so 
Uh, you can bring your dog, I guess, through here, you know, but you just can't take them inside, right? Yeah, see, I got this one, and then the, the other one on the other side. I love coming through. Elkmont. Wow. I'm so glad that they fixed all these cabins up and folks are able to enjoy them. I remember coming down here and not seeing a soul. Now, there's always folks everywhere. We have a video in our library where we walk through the majority of these. I'll put a link in the description below. But uh, yeah, restoring the past. That's what it looked like back when I first started coming to Elkmont, and that's what it looks like now. And you can see the progress as they went through. So we're here at the Appalachian Clubhouse, another historic building. It's been fully redone. And I like coming over here and sitting in these rockers and, and relaxing. Oh, the beautiful colors. We started at Medcalf Bottoms. We went all the way to Townsend. We turned around and then we came back all the way to Elkmont. And uh, that was Little River Road. It was amazing, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. A lot of color yet again. I probably said color about 15, 20, 30 times in this video. Probably more than yeah, enough. Yeah, it happens when you go from segment to segment. But it is beautiful fall colors and we're yes. enjoying them. Yeah, yeah, there is definitely no parking <laughs> to Laurel Falls, either side of the road. Uh, I guess Adam would say, there were cones. And there's lots of them too. <laughs> there's a lot of cones. I think they're a chain gang of cones, right? They all, yeah. They're all working on the chain. You get it? They're candy corn color too. Yeah. They were cones. <laughs> there's a lot of cones, chain uh, gang. There were, there were. Yeah, we're coming up to uh, Laurel Falls. A lot of color here in Laurel Falls parking area. Oh boy, and there is the traffic jam for folks getting out of the park. And this is about three, three, about roughly three miles to Sugarlands Visitor Center. I think we're in some trouble, Don. I think we're gonna be waiting for a while here. Yeah, you definitely have to be patient. But that's going to do it for today here in the Great Smoky Mountains. If you guys like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming well color videos. We do yeah. Pigeon Forge Gatlinburg. We have a road trip series where we travel anywhere, I guess, pretty much in the world. Stay tuned for that. It's going to happen soon. Thanks for watching. And until next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.